everyone, and welcome back to class. I'm so glad you're here. Today, we are going to talk about the Holy Spirit. What is the Holy Spirit? Well, the Holy Spirit is God. Our God is one God, and he is three persons. The Father, the Son, who's Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit, who's the helper who comes and lives inside of us when we have accepted Jesus Christ as our Savior. Sometimes as Christians, we don't always feel like we have the Holy Spirit living inside us, but we do. He's always in us and he's always there to help. Let's look up what the Bible says about the Holy Spirit. Today we're gonna look at 1 Corinthians 6, 19, which says, Do you not know that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit within you, whom you have from God? So today, we are gonna have a little science fun to help us remember that we have the Holy Spirit in us all the time. God is always with you. This vase represents a person who doesn't have a relationship with God yet. This person hasn't accepted Jesus as their savior. And the Bible says that this person is dead in sin. But there's great news. Everything is already in place for this person to receive Jesus as their savior, to be forgiven of all their sins and to be filled with the Holy Spirit. And since we're doing a science experiment, we've got to be safe and wear our goggles. So as soon as this person receives Jesus as their savior, let's look and see what happens. just fills them up right away. And this is true in your life too. You have the Holy Spirit and he's with you all the time. He never leaves you. The Bible tells us that we can count on this truth. That even if you don't always feel like you have the Holy Spirit in you, you do and you can trust that God is with you. Thank you all so much for watching today. I love you all so much, and I hope to see you here next time. Bye. This is Jesus. hey -o. Who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles like walking on water. Oh, hey guys even raised people from the dead. Uh, Wahoo! One day, as he saw the crowds gathering, Jesus went up to the mountainside and sat down. His disciples gathered around him, and he began to teach them. He asked them, Why do you keep calling me Lord, Lord, when you don't do what I say? Anyone who listens to my teaching and follows it is wise. Hey, I'm gonna build here. Yeah, I'm gonna build out there. All right, suit yourself. Like a person who builds a house on solid rock. Oh, yeah. When the floodwaters rise and break against that house, it stands firm because it was well built. I'll get it here. But anyone who hears my teaching and doesn't obey it is foolish. All right, hey, it's nice. Like a person who builds a house on sand. Uh oh. When the rains and floods come and the winds beat against that house, it will collapse with a mighty crash. When Jesus had finished saying these things, the crowds were amazed at his teaching. <laughs> 